China has just unveiled a multi-million dollar astronomy museum and it is indeed a sight to behold. This museum will attract visitors from all over the world. Hello and welcome to yet another video on our channel. Come along and let us give you a tour of what is inside the $100 million Shanghai Astronomy Museum. China has unveiled an exotic astronomy museum in the heart of Shanghai and the architecture has attracted high praise from local and international observers. Based on data, this museum is the largest astronomy museum in the world. Besides the size, it has a very unique structure. First of all, it has no right angles or straight lines all through. Instead, it is designed with three overlapping arcs that resemble the structures found in orbit. As for the size, the museum is 420,000 square feet and will house different space artifacts and instruments. Moreover, it will have an exhibition room, a planetarium, and an observatory, and one more thing, a 78-foot telescope. The design of the museum was conceived by a US firm called Enid Architects. Enid was not the only company interested in designing the museum, but was the one that was picked after winning a 2014 International Architectural Design Competition. The museum, which finally opened to the public on July 18, 2021, will serve as one of the branches of Shanghai Science and Technology Museum solely dedicated to astronomical studies. The study of astronomy has been ongoing for centuries, and there are several centers dedicated to the study all over the globe. However, no entity or institution has a facility that is as big as this one in Shanghai. Also, many consider astronomy to be quite strange and uncharted water, which may be the reason behind the decision by Enid Architects to design a museum that is as strange as the subject itself. The museum's design is similar to the geometry of the universe and the energy movement of celestial bodies. Designers drew inspiration from the three-body problem in physics, which involves intricate choreography created by the unique gravitational attraction caused by several bodies in the solar system. One of the lead designers of the project, Thomas Wong, said that the designers wanted the structure to be an embodiment of astronomical architecture. By using arc lines in place of straight walls, Wong and his team wanted to show visitors and onlookers how the world was always in constant motion and protected by multiple forces. Just in case you do not know what the three-body problem stands for in physics, this problem is an unsolved question relating to how physicists can calculate the movement of the three celestial entities, which are the moon, stars and the planets. To date, mathematicians are unable to accurately calculate the gravitational relationships that these bodies have with each other. Calculating for two bodies is easy, but doing so for three has remained elusive. This complicated phenomenon influenced the design of the Shanghai Museum because it is a complex one. Since their relationships are dynamic, Enid's architects wanted a dynamic design that will never go out of fashion, but one that will constantly renew itself to stay relevant. So for the designers, the arc lines represent a coulis, a sphere and an arc in the form of the sun, moon and stars, with each arc housing a major attraction. A few visitors had been allowed into the oculus through a doorway that opens above the main entrance. This entrance functions like a timepiece with a circle of sunlight that remains in perpetual motion across the floor 24 hours a day to indicate time and season. Then you have the planetarium, which is housed in a very big sphere. This sphere was built with very little support to give an illusion of weightlessness. The planetarium theatre emerges from the roof like the rising moon and visitors can walk underneath the structure. Another side attraction is the exhibition room divided into three zones. These zones are Home, Cosmos and Odyssey. When the museum eventually opens, visitors should be able to tour the exhibition room to view lifelike representations of the solar system, black holes and faraway galaxies. They will also be taught about the rich history of astronomy and how it has inspired people to think of the future. Overall, there are more than 300 exhibits in the exhibition room, with 85% of them developed by sculptors for the museum and more than half of this number have interactive functions infused into them. With that being said, reviewing the side attractions of the Shanghai Astronomy Museum will be incomplete if we don't talk about its vast collection of meteorites. One of the pieces is a very large Changjing meteorite that fell onto the island of Zhangxing in 1946 and destroyed a farmhouse. The meteorite was the only one seen falling to the ground in any part of China and it remains one of the priceless possessions in the museum. 
The architecture of the museum is one any visitor will find thrilling because there is so much to love about the structure. If you love to gaze at the night sky, you may consider visiting at night if the managers will allow you. If you can, make sure you climb to the roof of the building. The inverted glass dome on the roof gives visitors a clear view of the open night sky in what many have called a real encounter with the universe. Enid Architects has offices in China and the US and is the brain behind New York's popular famed Rose Center for Earth and Space Structure at the American Museum of Natural History. The project was a collaborative effort between Thomas Wong and James Polshek, and the structure of the Rose Center is similar to that of the Shanghai Museum. So it was not surprising when the word got out that Enid had won the bid to design the museum. Although the opening is planned for the 18th of July, there is going to be an official celebration to launch it 24 hours before the grand opening. Already some guests have been allowed to tour the museum during a preview event, and those fortunate to have done so say that they were impressed with the structure and interior spaces in the museum. For a construction that took five years to complete, the cultural significance it will have on Shanghai will be impactful. The museum will also be able to host up to 6,000 visitors a day. With a repertoire of cutting-edge visuals and interactive technology, visitors will be able to enjoy lifelike images of what life looks like in the solar planes. For the average observer, building an astronomy museum is only an extension of China's growing influence on the world stage. However, for political analysts and the wise who understand the inner workings of geopolitics, they understand that opening the largest museum of its kind is greater than that. China is trying to project the growing influence not only to its citizens, but to the rest of the world. Already the country has gone very far with its space exploration activities. Not too long ago, it launched a rocket successfully into the moon. Furthermore, plans are already underway to build a space center called Tiangong in space. By building an astronomy museum in Shanghai, China is making its plans clear to win the space race by committing huge investments into space-related projects to make it so. The Shanghai Astronomy Museum opened to the public on July 18th and people from all over the world are welcome to visit any time they are in Shanghai. Already built the largest of its kind anywhere in the world, there is so much to see and learn at the museum. If everything goes according to plan, visitors will walk away with near first-hand experience of what life is like in orbit. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button to receive our latest notifications. See you in the next one. Take care.